snack break. walk back and get my 44. We are going to lay down some more alfalfa today. Um, we've been kind of questioning this um, cloud frontage coming through, but uh, the way it stands, we're a month and a half behind already, and if we don't get started, um, we're never going to get started, so we're taking a chance. We're laying down hay. Um, this is hay we laid down yesterday. It's still very, very wet. So if it does happen to get a little bit of moisture on it, it's not going to hurt the quality of it because it's going to take so long to dry out. Like typically this time of year, we're looking at like mow day one, set day two, rake bale day three, four. But right now we are looking at mow day one, two, three, four, five, maybe bale. So the weather is very wonky right now. Um, no other way to explain it, but I'm going to get the 44. We did have to take the duels off, but we left the hubs on. So it's just 10 bolts on, 10 bolts off real easy. And I got the 946. This is actually the mower that I started with uh, and learned how to mow on in uh, the end of 2019 season. And then Jason ran it all last year, but now I'm running it because he got the new one. So yeah, yeah. Anyway, I don't have my cameras. Um, this one's about to die. We're going to jump in, go to another field. Jason's gonna fly the drone. So we're just gonna have some drone footage today. And my, we gotta fix that step. It's a little bit um, unstable there. Yesterday I had a different cup in here and uh, on the first pass out, spilt my drink. So there's that. Um, fire up my girl here and head down the road. Put, put, put. Jason fixed my AC. The radio doesn't always work, which is fine because you guys can't listen to the radio anyway. So let's get moving. And he fixed my rattly door. Bless his heart. as much as possible and just cut down on <clears throat> on time being in the field if we're both mowing that means we get twice as much done at once uh, it also allows the hay to dry more evenly when we go to fail it so he really prefers two mowers especially if one's down the other one can keep running aka i keep running no matter which one goes down because uh, of course he's got to fix it like he does do all the mechanics himself to bring it back to the shop for him to work on. Very rarely do we send anything out. That's how you save money. Well, I 
that's a wrap for today, folks. <laughs> She's a mess. It's almost as tall as you. Go over there and stand by it. Yep. All right, go over here and look at this orchard. Did you have fun mowing today? Yeah? <sighs> Guess we'll do it again tomorrow. Right, babe? Do it again. Bye. See you later. See you later. <laughs> he just gonna roll. I guess he's gonna run. <laughs> we'll have to rotate. Oh, Jalen came out of her shoe. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Okay, so it's Tuesday morning. Um, it's still a bit too wet for us to technically mow hay. Um, so we are instead going to mow pastures. Uh, we are brush hogging today. And we talked about it a couple weeks ago that we needed to be doing it. But today we are actually doing it. Um, there are several benefits to clipping your pastures, to mowing them down. Um, one, the main thing is A, reseeding. Two, it gets all of it the same height. So think about it like at your yard. If it's all the same height, then you have all equal sunshine to the whole thing. It allows it to grow better. So that's what we're doing. Reseeding, better growth. It's just the more you cut it, the better it'll grow. So these are where the cows have always been, have already been. So I swapped over, Jason started, and I'm gonna finish. camera system so we're not gonna get a whole lot of outside stuff today but Jason's walking through the herd just checking on them making sure they're doing all right and we're just brush hogging cleaning up pastures making them look nice the way we clip pasture the same way we clip and go hey lay down hay Take a couple circles around, go off the lands, and uh, this gives me practice on making straight rows when we lay down hay too, so. Good one. I think we're gonna mow some more hay. Be all ready. <sighs> Come on, Dolly. Everything's going to 
grass. They're gonna be so happy with their grass. So we have really nice nesting boxes. Um, they just hang on the wall and then we just transport them. But these, this will be the wall side and you can see that the chickens come in, lay down on this and the eggs will ride on out. They're from Hen Gear. I'll put the link in the description. But the eggs come, oh, hey, we have eggs. Okay, so they're kind of muddy just because the lot had been muddy, but it keeps them, it rolls, so what it does is here, I'll be pretending to be the hen. And it rolls right on through. Doesn't break the egg. Oh, I guess I could let these out. So these are the summer chicken trailers. They just kind of migrate around.